This is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Today, we're delving into a nation rich in cultural heritage, despite facing significant economic challenges. From its resilient people, to its vibrant voodoo traditions and historical significance as the first independent nation in Latin America and the Caribbean. Join us and stay to the end to discover the true spirit and untold stories of Haiti's enduring legacy. The Caribbean nation of Haiti occupies the western third of the island of Hispaniola. Its geography has played an important role in shaping its history and economy it is located in the Caribbean Sea, east of Cuba. It shares the island of Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic. It occupies the western third of Hispaniola. Haiti can be divided into the following three main geographical regions. The mountainous spine runs through the center, including ranges like the Massif du Nord, the northern coastal plains along the Atlantic Ocean, the hills and plateaus between the mountains and the southern peninsula. It has a tropical climate, hot and humid for most of the year. There are two rainy seasons from April to June and August to mid-November. The northern mountains trap rain clouds, so the north has a wetter climate than the south. The south receives little rain and has semi-arid regions. Being located in the Caribbean makes Haiti vulnerable to hurricanes, especially from June to November. Damaging storms occur almost every two years on average. Haiti is also prone to earthquakes, occasional floods and droughts. Deforestation has led to significant soil erosion in some regions. Haiti shares the island of Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. It has a unique history as the first independent nation in Latin America and the first post-colonial independent black-led nation in the world. The island of Hispaniola was originally inhabited by indigenous peoples, including the Taino. The Taino formed complex societies and were skilled farmers, growing crops like cassava, maize, beans, and peppers. In 1492, Christopher Columbus landed on the north coast of Hispaniola during his first voyage to the Americas. He claimed the island for Spain and established a small colony. The Spanish began to import enslaved Africans to replace the native Taino who were dying from European diseases and overwork. In the early 17th century, French settlers began arriving on the western side of Hispaniola establishing the colony of Saint-Domingue. Saint-Domingue became a lucrative colony, exporting sugar, coffee, and other crops. The colony was dependent on enslaved Africans, who outnumbered the European settlers. Inspired by the French Revolution and Enlightenment ideas of liberty, the enslaved Africans of Saint-Domingue staged a revolt starting in 1791 led by Toussaint Louverture and later Jean-Jacques Dessalines, they successfully defeated French, British and Spanish forces, abolishing slavery and establishing independence in 1804. Haiti became the first sovereign nation in Latin America and the first post-colonial independent black-led nation in the world. However, it suffered from political instability and was saddled with debts to France for lost property, which included slaves. This hindered economic development. In the 20th century, Haiti was dominated by the dictator François Papa Doc Duvalier and later his son Jean-Claude Baby Doc Duvalier. Their regime was marked by corruption, violence and repression against dissent. Popular unrest led to Baby Doc's overthrow in 1986. Today, Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. It suffers from political instability, corruption, natural disasters, and the effects of climate change. The World Bank estimates that Haiti's population is around 11.5 million. Most Haitians are descended primarily from West Africans brought to Haiti during the Atlantic slave trade. 
they represent around 95% of the population. There are also smaller minorities of mulattoes, whites, and Arabs. The large majority of Haitians identify as noir or black. A smaller mixed-race minority are mulattoes. Whites represent about 1% of the population and are mostly foreign-born. There is also a small Arab population descended from Syrian and Lebanese immigrants. Around 80% of Haitians profess Catholicism, brought by French colonists hundreds of years ago. But Catholicism has syncretized with indigenous voodoo beliefs and African spiritual practices. Voodoo is widely practiced alone or alongside Christianity. It involves reverence for spirits known as LWA and ritual dance and trance. Voodoo ceremonies often feature drumming, chanting and dances that lead to spirit possession. Some major LWA include Papa Legba, Ezili Dantor and Baron Samedi. Voodoo plays a central role in Haitian culture and identity. Although stigmatized in popular culture, it remains an important belief system bringing together ancestry, nature, magic and healing. There are also small percentages of Protestants, Muslims, Rastafarians and Baha'i in Haiti. But voodoo remains integral to the religious landscape and Haiti's cultural heritage. The official languages are French and Haitian Creole. French is used in formal contexts like education, business and government. Creole is spoken by virtually the entire population and is used in everyday life. It developed from a pidgin during the colonial period and has influences from French, West African languages, Taino and Spanish. Most Haitians switch seamlessly between French and Creole, depending on the social context. English is spoken by some Haitians in urban areas as a third language. Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. The World Bank estimates its GDP to be around $20 billion as of 2022. Its economy has suffered from political instability and natural disasters. Agriculture is a mainstay of Haiti's economy, employing about 60% of Haitians. However, frequent natural disasters have led to declining output. Key crops include coffee, mangoes, sugarcane, rice, and corn. Insufficient investment in agriculture has hampered the sector. Haiti has low levels of industrialization and manufacturing compared to other Caribbean nations. Manufacturing accounts for less than 10% of GDP. Key products include textiles, flour, sugar, cement, and light assembling industries. Cheap labor has attracted some outsourced manufacturing jobs. The services sector now accounts for over 50% of Haiti's economy. Key areas include commerce, telecommunications, and financial services. Tourism remains underdeveloped compared to neighboring Caribbean nations. Political instability has deterred tourists. Haiti runs regular trade deficits due to high volumes of imports versus exports. Major imports are food, manufactured goods, machinery and petroleum. Exports include apparel, oils, cocoa, mangoes and coffee. The US is their largest trading partner. Haiti faces major economic challenges, including high poverty, unemployment, inflation and inadequate infrastructure. It is reliant on remittances from overseas Haitians. Natural disasters routinely set back economic progress. Successive governments have struggled to implement reforms. Haitian art is known for its bright colors and naive, almost primitive styles. Prominent themes include Haitian voodoo religion, history, poverty, and rural life. Notable painters include Hector Hippolyte and Préfet Dufour, who often painted scenes of daily life. Metal art made from oil drums is also popular. The most famous Haitian festival is Carnival, 
held in late February. Haitians don elaborate masks and costumes and fill the streets with music and dance. Voodoo ceremonies and pilgrimages to sacred sites are other important religious occasions. Haitian literature has focused on themes of racial injustice, slavery, and national identity. Notable writers include Jacques Roumain, famous for his novels set during the U.S. occupation of Haiti. One of Haiti's most well-known cultural exports is its music. Styles like compa, rara, tubadou, and racine have gained popularity across the Caribbean. The band Bukman Experience combines traditional rhythms with rock and reggae. Here are some iconic Haitian dishes that reflect the nation's culture. Soup Jumu is a beloved national dish eaten on New Year's Day. This pumpkin soup symbolizes Haiti's independence as it was once forbidden to slaves. It brings the flavors of squash, beef or turkey, pasta, vegetables and Haitian spices. Cremas is a thick spiced Haitian milkshake made from milk, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon and nutmeg. It offers a sweet, creamy treat that provides energy in the hot climate. Cremas is popular for breakfast or as a snack. Frite refers to fried street food like conch or meat patties. It shows the influence of French cuisine in Haiti's fritters and crepes. Frite offers an affordable, readily available meal for Haitians. Legume is a vegetable puree made from squash, carrots, eggplant or other vegetables mashed with broth and seasonings. It makes a staple side dish. From national staples to Creole fusion dishes, Haitian cuisine reflects the pride and ingenuity of the Haitian people. It draws from diverse influences to create flavorful, iconic dishes that celebrate Haiti's distinctive culture and heritage. If you enjoyed this video on Haiti, you'll love this next one.